Well, hello everybody, Smithy here, and welcome to a little showcase. Today, we've got a little showcase uh, of a little add-on uh, from Cool Creeper. And you can see behind me, we've got a Brachiosaurus statue. Absolutely wonderful. So it's just a test, guys. Uh, it's not available, won't be available for some time. Uh, and uh, what we want is, uh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you want more statues? Is it something that's... Uh, good in the game for me uh it'd be something to have at the front of every exhibit so for me i've always wanted the uh plushes and the statues and it's good at the front of the exhibit the big problem is how big do you make them and we've only got a few to show you guys so without further ado let's go and have a look we have got that was the brachiosaurus uh is it too big for a build it would be nice, this size one would be nice at the front gates of a park. So you could like, you could put two out at the start of the park, couldn't you? Uh, that's slightly lower because it's on a different block. And then you could have them like as gates. I suppose that would be because the size of these are absolutely massive. Uh, we're in uh, RTX, guys, because that's the way I do things. So if you had that there, and that, and now we've we've sort of not got it exactly right and then you put uh you put the gate here uh it would it would be a gate so you could have the gate to your park i think that would be really cool i do like the colors i don't know uh the the colors are really good in fact uh they look really cute very cute indeed so that's the brachiosaurus i like it i think maybe for me the text text is good but maybe it could be a bit more Jurassic Park, maybe? I don't know, really. Right, a Velociraptor statue. Let's have a look at these guys. Let's have a look at this. Oh, my God. It, whoa, what a good colour. We have not seen uh, a Velociraptor with, a like, a yellow belly. I think that would be good to, to see that as well. More non-traditional raptor colours. But that's quite good, isn't it? It's quite a simple design. It's not too... It, it's quite good in terms of... It's not too complicated, we know that's a raptor, so we'll put a second one down here. There we go. They're really nice. I like that. So they're they're quite a good size. So in terms of uh, at the front gates of the raptor paddock or whatever, you could have those. I'd like to see some different colours of the raptors, but there we go. <gasps> T-Rex, guys. Let's put the T-Rex over here. Right, let's have a look at what this looks like. Oh, my word. Oh, that's different. It's got a very long snout. Very long snout. T-Rex. Now, what would be good is to have, that's obviously the uh, representation of the female one. What would be good to have a, a male one as well, I think, uh, because it's just the same. Right, Spinosaurus. And you notice you can, you can actually place them. Wow. You can actually place it at an angle. Superb. So that's a really good thing as well. Uh, although Spino, T-Rex, the names, yeah. I like the plinth colours. I think the plinth colours are really good. Uh, Spino. It's a traditional colour Spino, isn't it? I suppose when you look at it, you know, like this Brachiosaurus is uh, really, really, the colour scheme is really, really fantastic in terms of how it's blended. Maybe this needs a bit more blending. Not so sure, guys. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's a really good idea. I'd like to see some different colours. I know that's quite easy to do. Once you've got the model, you then size the model. I think in a park, maybe the bigger creatures need to be a bit smaller. I don't know. It's sort of maybe there'll be different sizes so you can pick the size you want. Might be good to have like for the big creatures, probably have three sizes. And then you can pick them to how you want to build your park. Uh, finally, there was supposed to be a fifth dino, guys, but there isn't. <laughs> I don't know why this is, because I can't get old. But it's a, <laughs> it's just a, it's just an incubator. Now that's the point of this add-on. The fact is, we want to have all different things like uh, items. So this is like a little. I would say this is a compy. It's probably the eggs are too too big, really. But like something slightly bigger than a compy egg incubator. So we could have different incubators. I think that would be really cool. But there's incubators. Uh, and then what we got, guys, is we got some signs. Now, I can't see them. We've had this 1.17. Some of the blocks you can't see. Uh, so these are furniture. So the, like, the point is there's no moving dinosaurs. It's just furniture, and I think it's really cool. I really like it. 
So let's just have a look at this guy. So uh, we have got a Velociraptor sign. Uh, yeah, one-sided Velociraptor sign. We have Tyrannosaurus. This one doesn't work. Can't see it. It's there because I can uh, hit it. There we go. I've just hit it. Uh, Spinosaurus sign. Uh, Dilophosaurus sign. And Carnotaurus sign. So there should have been six. Uh, personally, I'd like to see some more texturing on this. I'd like to see more. You know, like this has got like some sort of texture. This seems to be quite like plain. Also, I think the the writing as well maybe we'll see what that looks like it's rather plain i think that's rather plain for me but i like the idea of having different types of signs although a number of mods and add-ons have their own signs i particularly like the statues i think they're really cool guys look at that looks really good doesn't it uh and i think it's a really good idea and i think that we need an add-on which doesn't have any moving parts but has loads of uh signage statues items from dinosaur parks including fences i think the fences is a big thing that we need easy to use fences right there you go guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that little video and we'll see you next time put comments in the description please I'm sure cool creeper will be reading them to see what you guys think thank you and bye bye